sexuality is a part of our identity as human beings, but it is not the core of our identity. My identity is now in Christ. I'm still a virgin at the age of 26, and that's it's pretty rare, I think. If you never get married to a woman and have a family, um, is celibacy, are you comfortable with that being your existence? Mm -hmm. It's something that, hey, if that's what God wants me to do for the rest of my life, and if I die a single celibate man, then so be it. Welcome back to our continuing conversation. That was Ethan from the Our America episode. Lisa, Ethan, as you saw, just spoke with Lisa about his belief that a life of abstinence is better than, could be better than life as a gay man. And now Ethan joins us now from Fort Myers, Florida. Ethan, hello and welcome. Let me start by saying when I watched you tonight, I thought eight was very brave of you to talk so candidly. And then to say that you were virgin at 26 when you said, yeah, I think it's pretty rare these days. I think so too. So when, yeah. you, were, when you were watching yourself on the special tonight, what'd you think? Were you pleased? Any regrets? Yeah, I mean, the, the first thing I thought of was that I really should have ironed my shirts. I, <laughs> I was thinking that too, Ethan. God, yeah. his shirt is such a mess. No, um, no, no. But but yeah, I mean, I, I I enjoyed the show and I and I liked um I liked what I had to say. There were I have no regrets with what I had to say. Did you did you really think that God would love you if you were a homosexual? Were you concerned about that? No, I absolutely knew that He loved me mm -hmm. even when I was a homosexual. When I came out of the closet, I still considered myself a Christian. I've been a Christian since the age of four, mm -hmm. so um, I definitely knew that God loved me. But did I think that that was God's best for me? Yeah. And did I think that that was really what Christianity was about? No, no. I, do, I don't think so. No. Ethan, I'm just curious. You saw the, the kids at the naming project. Um, <laughs> what did you think uh, uh, of them and, and what mm -hmm. they're doing with the naming project? Yeah, well, I think, I think they are completely brave because yeah. it is still difficult nowadays in this world to, to be a homosexual. And not only that, to, but to have to resolve that conflict between your beliefs and your sexuality, I mean, that's, that's a struggle that I wouldn't wish upon anyone, even though that's something that I myself personally struggle with. Mm -hmm. So I applaud them for their bravery, absolutely. Why did you go, Ethan, to Exodus for the first time? Um, I went to Exodus um, for the first time because it was actually, I, I, I had been part of a ministry before. Um, mm -hmm. It wasn't an Exodus-related ministry. Um, but I had heard about Exodus, and I wanted to meet others who had the same struggle as myself because where I'm from, there's really not a lot of support or um, other individuals who are open in the church about what their struggles are in terms of their sexuality. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to meet more people, um, gain some more support.